beautiful, huh? Yeah. Okay, we're in Virginia, buddy. There's all yurts. Oh, yeah. This is pretty. This is very interesting. By the way, y'all, the last time we were here... Natural Tunnel State Park is in Scott County. Don't look up. You see the big natural tunnel yes. back there? See a big black bear crawl out of that one right up there. Uh oh, look here. This bridge, so pretty. What a great location. They look like a Krispy Kreme, if you yes. ask me. Look at that. If y'all haven't noticed my hat. Well, it's looking good. But it is campfire chat time. These are fully up here. Nothing like camp breakfast, is there? Mm -mm. A pastor in South Carolina that's part of our YouTube family um, mailed us this book. Hey everybody, we're headed to Natural Tunnel State Park in Southwest Virginia. We're going to ride the chairlift and camp and visit the visitor center. It's going to be a neat trip. Come along with us. Hop in there, young lady. Okay, a quick stop for some groceries. Yeah. Food City, hard to beat. So we always get excited when we go camping, don't we? Yes, we do. We'll be camping in beautiful Southwest Virginia mountains yeah. tonight. Here we go. Time I've looked at this, so I'm not sure. And there's the camp store. Mm -hmm. So you see the playground here? Oh, yeah. We're in Camp View Campground. Lover's Leap Campground is to the right. There's a bathhouse to the left. There's all yurts. Oh, yeah. They yeah. have that. They have a deck all the way around them. That's cool. They're nice right there in the woods. Yeah. And they have uh, cabins. They're, they've got a lot of stuff here. Yeah. There's a yurt. We had it sitting back in there. Mm -hmm. There was like three back there that way. That's nice. Yeah. Yeah. Right there. The second one's 16. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Same name. All right. Let's head back down. All right, here we are at the Natural Tunnel, the Visitor Center. You can see it there behind us. Yes, I'm going to go in here and check it out before yeah. we get on the chairlift. All right, let's go. Ways to see the Natural Tunnel. You can ride the chairlift to the right. We're going to do that. This is pretty. You this like that? Uh-huh. Danny Boone Wilderness, Wilderness yeah. Trail. And we've been through here before, folks, but... Uh, the sun see, is we're up. We're going to share quite a bit of the history on the park and the tunnel while we're going down the chairlift. It's the old steam powered coming through there. See that? Mm-hmm. It's a locomotive headlight. Okay. 203. And this is the making of Natural Tunnel. So no one knows exactly how old Natural Tunnel is or how it was actually formed. So we've got some animals here. Yeah, fox squirrel. 
It's a gray fox. You don't wonder what a gray fox looks like. This is very interesting. It says Natural Tunnel State Park is one of the most biologically significant areas of the Commonwealth. Has over 200 occurrences of natural heritage resources. Um, two significant caves associated with the natural tunnel formation itself. And another is a globally rare plant. Looks like some old tools here. All right, we better get over to the chairlift. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, if you got some kids, this would be a great place to bring them, give them a little something. It's pretty warm today, it's like 80, it's not bad up no, here, it's, it's cool. it's not real humid. Let's have a sip of that. Yeah. Do some dinner at camp tonight. How is it? Smooth and cold. <laughs> oh, we may have to get another one of those on the way back. We're going down the chairlift. So guys, if you're overnight guests camping or in one of the cabins, you get a pass to ride the chair lift and you don't have to pay for it. Good, Good. how are you? We have uh, a pass. Right on you. You're okay. Good. Thank, Thank you. you. Chair lift in. Right around through here. Okay. There's no way you're scared after riding that uh, <laughs> rocky top mountain coaster, is there? No. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We'll, we'll give you a sticker or magnet on the way back up. Thank you. By the way, y'all, the last time we were here, the chairlift was closed. And you have to, you had to walk down to the tunnel and walk back out. Now, going down was not bad at all, but no. it was rough coming back up because it's very, it was an incline, wasn't it? We stopped yeah. and rest several times. But make sure and check when the chairlift <laughs> is open. Yeah. Because it, it's open and closed a lot. I think the weekend's mm -hmm. usually open, but you want to make sure and check that. Yeah. Natural Tunnel State Park is in Scott County, 13 miles north of Gate City and 20 miles north of Kingsport, Tennessee. Look at that rock over there. That's where the... Lover's Leap is? That's Lover's Leap right up there, I'm pretty mm -hmm. sure. See it right up there, folks? Mm-hmm. Where they supposedly jumped. We from, came right here a lot when I was younger. So as far as the park here, it is, uh, I think, it not, over 900 acres. Now the tunnel what we're headed to is 850 feet long and 100 feet inside. They say it was naturally carved through a limestone ridge over thousands of years. William Jennings Bryan called it, you know what he called it, Karen? Yes, the eighth wonder of the world. Yeah. But it's still, it's, as you saw inside the visitor center, it's still a mystery to scientists and geologists as far as how it was actually formed. Now the facilities here at the campground, look at that, I can't take my eyes off of that. I know. It. There's two campgrounds, cabins, picnics, areas, amphitheater, visitor center, camp store, and a gift shop. And you also folks, there's the Wilderness Road the Wilderness Road Historic Area. And That's of course, the chairlift. Train track back there. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. Want to show it? Let's see if you can see it. We'll be at it down there too in a minute. By the way, here's the trail going by. You can see there's some folks that have walked down. I hope they know what they're in for on the way up. Yeah, it's a nice pathway with curves and steps and stuff, but it's rough coming out. Yes, definitely. Daniel Boone was one of the earliest people to see the tunnel. That's why they've named some of the trails around mm -hmm. here the Daniel Boone Wilderness Trail. Okay, I see the creek. See the creek over there? We're gonna walk in along it here in just a minute. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Look at this uh, sign. All right, thanks. I thought it was further down. There's that tunnel observation platform. We got to walk quite a ways to the left to the overlook. And then there's a Carter log cabin. But look at this. So peaceful. Mm -hmm. Tunnel observation. Okay, 500 feet. You got it. That creek sounds so nice, it doesn't does. it? It does. I mean, it's not hot right here for sure. Don't look up. The pinnacle. Above you is a legendary lover's leap of Native American Indian. Oh, we, we, oh, oh yeah, right up there. Can you see it through the trees? Look at that. I'll try to zoom in in uh, post. Wow. Look how pretty this is. Yeah, that is nice. Oh my goodness, it's so cool back in here. I know too, it's not it? hot at all. 
So it's like, well, we've been here a few times, folks, but, you know, different times of years brings out different kinds of things. Look how beautiful nature. that is. Wow. The train trestle right there. This is not even the natural tunnel out right here. This is another no. tunnel. We get to cross the tracks right here. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's almost like we're in a jungle. Look at that. <laughs> cool, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> you see the big natural tunnel yes. back there? It's amazing how water carved its way through here. Yes. But more amazing is God's creation, isn't it? Yes. Right, while they say the tunnel, actually how it was formed is a complete mystery, we know it's one of God's mysteries. Everybody can believe how they would like, right? Going up here, I bet it gets cooler and cooler up here. A, Michael, a colonel during the Civil War was one of the first people to explore and, and publish an article about the natural tunnel mm -hmm. in the 1800s. Okay, there's a entrance on this side you can't even see daylight go there in the side of the wall but you can see the suit or whatever it is and the trains on the rock Yeah, this is um, it's one of those places you could stay for a while, isn't it? Oh yeah, it's so nice and cool. Creek. Cool and look at that creek it's coming right through here. Just calming and serene and. I think that's a cave. Yeah. And then right over there looks like another possible cave. Who knows, uh -huh. right? That for sure kind of looks like one, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. It's... I don't know about that. I don't know. See a big black bear crawl out of that one right up there. <laughs> as long as he's over there, that'd be fine. You're okay with that, aren't you? Yeah. This way is also pretty, isn't it? Mm hmm That's the natural tunnel. I could just go down there and lay back on one of those rocks for a while. Mm-hmm. Listen to the water come through and take a nap, can right you? Right there, that one might be big enough for me and you both. <laughs> I doubt it. No, it's leaning. It's leaning to one side. Yeah. We need a flatter, bigger one. All right, you ready? Mm-hmm. Okay, so right here where you get off the chairlift, you can see the sign. The rest of them are out, but the Carter Log Cabin, we're gonna run down there. And the information, um, it's the Carter Cabin was moved here. Okay. It wasn't originally here, but it was moved here to the state park. And I'm sure there's a storyboard. Yes. Down here, but we've got some information we'll share once we get down here. If you got a little bag like ours, we got two different sizes of these. You could throw some water in that, mm -hmm. some crackers, a Reese cup or something, and come right down here and have you a little mini picnic, couldn't you? Look at that tree. Or you could, Karen, bring, um, what are they called? Crustables? Yeah, Uncrustables. Uncrustables, there we go. I can't ever keep it straight. Uh oh, look here. This bridge, so pretty. Y'all walk across the bridge with us here. We'll stop halfway uh -huh. and we'll show you the pretty views of the creek. How's that sound? And it's a pretty bridge. Look at that. Mm -hmm. mm. Here's the other side. There's Lover's Leap right up there. Right yeah. up there. So peaceful. Uh-huh. In the Appalachian Mountains. The heart of Appalachia. Southwest Virginia. Beautiful walk back through here. Mm-hmm. It is. All around us, nothing but nature. God's creation. Sun shining through. Not sure we're ever going to make it to the campground with all this beauty. <laughs> we 
will. We still have daylight for quite a few more hours, so. Yeah. Yeah, this is the Carter cabin. What's it say? If houses could talk, this one room cabin played a long and important role in settlement of this area. I'm going to y'all read it. You can yeah. pause it there if you'd like. Extracted the materials harvested from nearby forest streams and hills. And even though it was moved here, what a great location. Yes. Mm, mm, mm. I guess you can go in there, can't you? I don't know if we've ever been able to go in. This camera's probably not going to do too good in low light. Yeah, you can see where they've redone some of it. Mm hmm But they had a fireplace, I guess, and a that's where they cooked and had a bed and mm -hmm. a few chairs in here. That was probably it. Yeah. Went through six generations. There's a fire pit here. And the trail keeps on going. We're going to head back to the chairlift. Okay. So we'll meet you guys back up there. We'll see you guys at the top. somehow stumbled onto our channel. Yes, <laughs> it's interesting. It's so it? amazing, yeah. Mm -hmm. But uh, nice young man. Yes. Detail, very respectful. Mm -hmm. The train's coming through. Oh, I hear shit. it back there. What kind of way to do? Ten more minutes down oh, there. Twenty wow. minutes. What a bummer. Just about back to the top. Thank you. <laughs> There's a price it's to it. Round deep. trip is five dollars a person. Do you see this over here? Dun boom wilderness trail. You can hike from the campground over to here. Maybe that way. I can't remember exactly where the trail comes out. Look at the old railroad, you can climb up on it there. Mm -hmm. Pretty level. We were worried because we didn't have any trees. Well, not worried, but thinking we didn't have any trees, but it looks like some shade's coming from the trees. Yeah. That's our fire pit down here, isn't it? Yeah. There's tents right over there. Okay, so I'm gonna get up the hill a little bit. Okay. He's eating. There's a shirt she got. Yeah. Johnny Boone Wilderness Trail Interpretive Center. What do you think? This is nice, isn't it? It is. It really, and it's peaceful. Oh, yes. I like it. What's mm -hmm. not to love about Virginia? I knew that was coming. <laughs> well, we ate on the road. Lunch. Yeah. It's like 5 o'clock. Mm -hmm. We're settling in here. So I think we're gonna chill out a little bit. We're not but gonna Karen have dinner for a couple hours. One right? of the things, right? One of the things we did at Food City is they were raising support for the local food bank. Yeah, they were selling donuts for X amount of dollars, and we said, "Well, let's give some money." And <laughs> That's all, the reason. And all of a sudden, we got donuts. <laughs> yeah. For it. And we have milk. Yeah. I'm gonna drink milk with mom. But anyway, she's mentioned, I don't know, at least four <laughs> times. You don't want to get back to the campground. Let's have some donuts and milk. So let's have some donuts and milk. Okay. Well, it's time for a snack. Good show, everybody. They're Seavers. They look like a Krispy Kreme, if you ask me. They're called the dough raisers because they raise money. <laughs> oh, look at that. Mm, they look good. Yeah. Appreciate it. And we got some milk out here. Let me grab one of those. Before we do that, um, if y'all haven't noticed my hat, Friday's forever. Um, we're excited about that. I mean, look at that. We um, got this uh, sent to us from uh, Craig and Penny. Mm -hmm. And their company's called Merchworks, M E R C H W R K S dot com. And um, what, how cool is that? So, I know it. Thank you guys. Yeah, we appreciate we that. We love it. Mm. 
That's good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I have to say, it's really peaceful here, folks. Mm -hmm. It is. It's so pretty here. Mm -hmm. Cheers to all you guys. Cheers. Thanks for watching. A lot more fun to be had. Cheers. We're, Melt um, cheers. <laughs> yeah. We'll have a little dinner after a while, a little campfire. Mm -hmm. A little fun. Mm -hmm. Y'all hang around. Somebody fell asleep, look. Yes. He's tired. Hey, we've never tried this before, but we're gonna check it out tonight and see how it turns out. Chicken carbonara fettuccine. Well, it's looking good. Just about dinner time. It smells so good in the van, I'm telling you. Come one of us got a fork and a knife and one just a fork. Just Did you need the knife? Or I just want to share it to cut? Mm -hmm. Throw some of that now cheese on there. This is shredded Parmesan Romano. Look at this. And Asiago cheese. That's plenty for me. Okay. God, thank you so much for the opportunity to be here in these beautiful Southwest Virginia mountains, your creation. Thank you uh, for this food. And we pray that you'll bless it to our bodies. And then we pray. Amen. Amen. Yeah. I told Mike, I said, we're going, That's to, crooked. we're going to eat before dark tonight. <laughs> That's nice, isn't it? Yeah. Which we usually do, but the last few trips. We just get such a late start sometimes. And the last trip. Y'all need to teach us how to plan. That's what it is. <laughs> okay. Here comes the test. Let's do cheers. You need my knife? <laughs> Our knife? Cheers. Cheers. Mm. That's a good flavor. You can taste the bacon flavor, mm -hmm. can't you? Mm-hmm. Very tasty. We got a special treat for dessert, too. Oh. Not store-bought mm -mm. dessert. Homemade. By my smother, Miss Shirley. Shirley's a big sweets person, so she makes sweets a lot, doesn't mm -hmm. she? Mm -hmm. At one of the nicest state parks, you know. And you know, that's how we roll in Virginia. <laughs> time lapse of us eating <laughs> and just reminded me what mom said one time she was watching our video and it was a time lapse sped up what was it she said she said y'all are eating awful fast <laughs> you're right mom we were eating way too fast <laughs> Okay, we are trying to get a fire going. <laughs> this wood is so green, it's unbelievable. Mm -hmm. We've used a lot, a lot of fluid, haven't we? Look at Big T. I think he <laughs> represents how we all three feel. <laughs> Long day today. Yeah. But you know what? I was, um, Karen's like, you want a marshmallow? I'm, whew, I had a big dinner. Yeah, we've, we've been eating later the last few camping trips, and so then you're not hungry for a marshmallow. Right. So we'll have to cut back or we're going to have to eat dinner earlier. earlier. We're going to start eating dinner earlier. And then that pumpkin pie with that co-op just put me over the edge. Right. Put us so, over the top, didn't it? Yeah, it did. It did. But it is campfire chat time. Mm hmm And Karen's blog post this week was about grace. Yeah. And we know we've talked about grace before, but you can never talk about grace too much. <laughs> And one thing, my blog post was titled, um, Hey friend, grace changes everything. And I just like that phrase. Somebody said that would be great on a t-shirt, and it would, yeah. Grace yeah. changes everything. Okay, I tried to douse the fire up a little bit, but I'm uh -huh. not sure what's gonna, but grace does change everything. Yes, it changes all the aspects of our lives yeah. in this life and the next life. So it gives us right standing with God. It mm -hmm. changes who we are because we're no longer 
who we were in the past. Grace mm -hmm. changes who we are. Oh yeah, for sure. Being forgiven for everything and um, it changes. You know, when we say who we are, it's not what someone else says we are. Mm -hmm. But it's who God says we are. Right. And, and when you're under grace, you're just in a place of freedom. Mm -hmm. And you don't have to wear the labels that people try to put on you, try to put on us. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, living in this world, you're going to be judged. And mm -hmm. we get tickled. We get a chuckle sometimes at some of the comments. Mm -hmm. um, and you can tell they're pretty judgmental comments. Mm -hmm. um, but in this world, there's going to be people that, you know, that's, that's their life. They like to judge others and... Mm -hmm. Not a lot you can do about it, right. but uh, you can learn to recognize them. But I think what Karen is saying is if you know who you are, mm -hmm. then when people come along and judge you, it, it won't affect you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because grace does change everything when you're under grace. It's like being under an umbrella of God's perfect mercy and love extended to us even when we don't deserve it. So BT, what do you think about grace, buddy? I think he's asleep. <laughs> he is. Thank y'all for hanging in for the fireside chat. Yes. We finally have a little bit of a fire going, Mike. Yeah, finally. This green wood is burning. <laughs> well, thank y'all for joining us, and we will see you in the morning for breakfast and bacon. You're going to make some pancakes and bacon on the Blackstone. <laughs> I am. If you haven't noticed, we have to edit these fireside chats because we get so long sometimes. Mm-hmm. But um, if you'd like to see an unedited version of this, you can go to our Facebook page, Fridays Forever. And we've been putting those very mildly edited versions on our Facebook page. You can watch the full Fireside Chat. And it's also mm -hmm. going out as a podcast. If you'd like to listen to it on the way to work, you can search mm -hmm. for Fridays Forever Podcast. And you'll find these um, there also. Mm -hmm. It's getting a little bit cool. It is. Yeah. It feels so nice out here. I had here, to put my Fridays Forever sweat hoodie on it feels so nice out here I'm it does you. well good night we'll see you in the morning see you in the morning Breakfast time. Get some bacon on here. The sun is out. Beautiful day. There we go. And these are fully up here. Get this bacon off in here. Big T is restless inside the van. I think he smells bacon. And one of these pieces just might disappear before the pancakes are done, if you know what I mean. So I broke our little black plastic spoon. It's hot. Well, it's hot. This is, um... Make that one a little bigger. Put them on it. Yeah. That's a lot better in a package. <laughs> Couple of these off here. Breakfast in the sunshine. We really like this Hungry Jack syrup that you is a microwavable bottle. There's you three. Wait a minute. Punch some holes in your pancakes. And don't let that butter run down in there. Aren't you smart? And we have milk to drink. Nothing like camp breakfast, is there? Mm-mm. These look good and fluffy. Mm-hmm. I'll tell you something. Those are a lot better than that shake thing. This was Hungry Jack too, just like our... We're not going to do that shake pancake no. skin. That was good. That, this is good. This was Hungry Jack mix, just like our syrup is Hungry Jack. I like to dip my bacon in the syrup like that a little bit. Cheers. Okay, so what do we think about Camp Brown? You want to go ahead? 
-hmm. and the park and just everything around here. I love this state park. It's so pre it's so pretty and peaceful. This campground is great. This is a really nice area right here as far as it not being too close. Typical state park again, no Wi-Fi. Uh. <laughs> but that's okay. Mm -hmm. And um, I mean the cell signal, we've got Verizon one and two bars just depending. Great location. There's so many places you can get to from here. Yeah. Bristol Raceway, Bays Mountain Park. I mean, what about 20 miles <clears throat> to Bays Mountain Park? Maybe, yeah, just a little bit. Long. I tell you, if you go to the website, just look up um, Natural Tunnel State Park Campground and the area, and they've got a whole list of things that are pretty close to here that you can get out. You can mm -hmm. canoe, they've got, they take you. Kayak, you can, you can do a hiking, you can, I think, even do cave exploring mm -hmm. and all that stuff. And I tell you what, grocery stores and restaurants are. Yeah. In different cities close by. And it's just so pretty here. And we would definitely come back again. Mm -hmm. um, and we will. We will. Sure. We're going to finish up here. Um, be back in just a minute. I think you can hear Big T barking in there, maybe. I'm going to have to give him a piece of my bacon. Well, we want to say goodbye. And last night I mentioned the folks that sent us this hat and tumbler. I may have given the wrong website. It's Merch Works. But it's M E R C H W R K S yeah, so dot com. It's missing the O in works. So and we also wanted to thank someone else, Karen. Yes, yeah, so a pastor in South Carolina that's part of our YouTube family um, mailed us this book, Timothy Keller and Kathy Keller, A Year of Daily Devotionals, The Meaning of Marriage, a couple's devotional. Um, pastor Bud out of South Carolina and um, we love this um, we've been doing it the last few trips and days and we just thank you for that yes. and also um, Pastor Bud provided a gift for us to have a meal in the mountains so yeah thank you so much Bud thank you for both those very much a blessing yeah so I guess that's gonna do it from here yeah Natural Tunnel State Park thanks for joining us yeah, you ought to visit here if you get close at all. You ought to visit here and make plans to come here. It's just really neat. Yeah. Well, until next time, we're Fridays. Forever. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye, everyone. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. <laughs>